hey welcome back to my channel you're gonna be excited because I know that you like try on hauls because we are the same and I get on YouTube and I'm always like I want to see a try on haul I want to see what someone else bought when I can't buy it myself or when I'm just curious and I want to know if I should hook up with this service or whatever I love to watch my glasses are filthy I apologize if you can see that on the video probably can and anybody that has a pet peeve about dirty glasses I apologize I was gonna clean them actually before this video but that half-assed cleaning job will have to do because we are here and we're going and I don't want to cut this video at all okay I'm gonna have to and I'm trying stuff on because I don't want to show you all my girl parts but anyways this is my bag I ordered this on Friday this is from rent the runway unlimited service so I have rented many a dress from them. I have gone through two birthdays, three Christmas parties, and a couple other date nights and rented dresses and I've loved them. I've had a dress and a backup dress and I've had flukes with the dresses for sure. Like one of them a strap was broken. Um, that was supposed to hold it together and I ended up having a safety pin and hide the safety pin which worked out fine But their customer service was awesome and they gave me like a free dress for my next time um, And so I will see if I can find those pictures. I'll insert them into this video Somehow because I will figure that out um, But this time I'm on you know, I'm wishing I was going to a Christmas party this year But this year we're going to Disney World so no big Christmas parties for us and I was like, I'm just going to look at the holiday dresses because I like to window shop online. And instead, I got this, hey girl, <laughs> sign up for Run Through Runway Unlimited because it's uh, discounted your first month. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I did. And I ordered four items and they're in here. And today's Monday. So it came super fast. So that's great news. So we're going to go through these. Um, I'll pull them out. I'll try them on. I'll let you know what I think. Um, the service is <clears throat> normally $159 a month. Sorry, I'm like showing you the back of my head. But um, I can't remember how much I paid, but I know it was on sale for Black Friday. They send it in this garment bag, and they send you a return label, so you can send them, send it right back to you. Looks just like that, right back to them. They send it to me, I send it to them. And it comes like this, and it gives you instructions on how to send it back. It's super awesome. I have heard that it's usually about a two-day turnaround. And sure enough, this came in two days, so that's great. Okay, I'm going to pull these out and show you one at a time before I even try them on. Maybe, or maybe I'll insert the clip of me trying it on. What is that? Oh, that's that. Okay, great, sorry. <laughs> Confusing. All right, so I got a leather... A faux leather jacket. It's a, um, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to write this bag. It looks great online. It, right now, right, it looks like a plain old leather jacket. And I have to admit, I was not sure what size this to get. And look, there's a hood for the leather jacket, which is why I got it. Because I have, I do have two, <clears throat> I'm a leather jacket kind of girl, I guess. I have two of them. I have, a, like, a moto jacket and then the one that's kind of similar to this. I actually think my moto jacket is super cool because it looks almost like Kylo Ren's like kind of <laughs> Star Wars style. It's got like cool ridges and lines on it. Um, so anyways, this looks like it hooks in, in here as the hood. And that's going to be super awesome. So I will put that in when I try that on. And I'll tell you more about it then. But let's just keep going. So I didn't know what sizes really to get. Um, some of them obviously were just not available in other sizes so I just kind of went with one and hoped for the best. So then I also got this beautiful red and I never buy red. I have to admit I do not like to wear colors most of the time. I will wear my my capsule wardrobe is black. It is like a whitish cream, mauve pink, and blues. Like navy blue for my jeans and like um, you know the chambray tops kind of a thing like a light blue. And gray so that's my usual I would never buy anything in color because I feel like once you wear something that's a bright color people know every time you wear it again so I have rented this beautiful red I feel like 
I've always been told red looks good on me, so we're gonna see. Um, red sweater, and it's actually, it's super soft. I also get nervous when I buy a sweater, especially if I'm buying a sweater online, and obviously I didn't buy this, and it's soft, and so there's no reason to worry. And I kind of figured, actually, that clothes that were this expensive, sweaters, better freaking soft. So I wasn't super worried. But we shall see how the winter goes because I'm going to be ordering sweaters all winter. I'm a sweater junkie. Okay, and I got these pants. And I've never worn Citizens of Humanity before. So I'm not exactly sure what size to get. So I did get a 30. Right? Is that what these are? I got what was available. I believe I got a 30. Because I go back and forth between the 8 and a 10, and usually 30s are kind of right around there. So I got that. I'm hoping it's not super long because I'm only 5 feet tall. Okay, and then the last thing I got is this kind of um, off the shoulder sweater. Is it off the shoulder? Yeah, I think so. If I can remember the picture correctly. Um, I have to say, this is not super soft. It's not exactly scratchy, but it's not like, oh, that's so buttery soft on my skin. It's not like that. So. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, it looks cute. Can you see it in there? So see these little sleeves? Anyways, I don't see anything weird or wrong with any of these. So I will put them on and be right back. All right, so I got the first few items on. The first two actually, that's a couple, not a few. Um, so I've got this black sweater on that I love and I've got the Citizens of Humanity jeans. So they are um, high-waisted. Not super high waisted actually, they're probably considered a medium rise. They're a little bit long if you're thinking that they're going to be cropped, which is what most of the pants are supposed to be on there. I think they're trying to cater to long and short people. Long people, tall people. So I rolled this one up, which I think is going to look great with um, boots. And then the sweater gets nice and tight at the bottom, so you just want to kind of like gently pull it over your clothes. And I say gently, <laughs> it is definitely tight down here, and maybe I could have got a medium. Let me just tell you that somebody else obviously had the same problem because there's a little hole right here right there right there where did it go maybe it's on the other side I saw it when I was pulling it out yeah there it is right there I don't know if you can see that literally right there on my hip so I'm sure somebody was trying to stretch it over their hips put a little hole in it and that's total bummer so I'll definitely be letting them know hopefully they'll replace it or fix it um, for the next person and oh hair in my mouth um, but I really love these jeans they're super comfy I'm surprised that they fit so well hopefully they look okay I don't have a full-size mirror in here so I'm not checking before I show you but I think it does um, I wish I could have probably got a medium in this but they only had it in a small and honestly I usually wear a small in women's shirts um, in juniors you know I wear a bigger size but in women's I usually always get a small but with different brands, you never really know. So, you know, I'm gonna wear it anyways. So, I think it's great. I really love it, I'm super happy with it. And, uh, okay, I'll show you what's next. All right, I'm back. I've got the red sweater on. I'm gonna try and put the leather jacket on right on top of this and see what happens. So, this is funny, I have a funny story. So when I made my boards, to decide what I wanted to get. I made like a warm tops and then like a regular tops board and all the sweaters went under the warm tops so let me just tell you this top would not be very warm <laughs> because it's very sexy is the word really in my mind. I changed my pants because this would not look good with burgundy pants. These I got from a Stitch Fix box a while back. Anyway, so check out the back. <coughs> I hope you can see that. I hope it does it justice. I have a tank top underneath, so um, anyways, it's nice and loose. It's got this crisscross. It kind of comes out and together. There are a couple strange things about this. Let me rotate you up. There we go. Okay, so there's a couple interesting things about this sweater. Other than the fact that it shows off your whole back, so you may want to wear a... You know, I would say like I would want to pin my straps inside of this. I would probably do that to keep them out of the way. Also, I could have probably ordered a, low, a smaller size in this um, brand, but this is a medium. And um, also, 
Real weird. All oh, these tags. So if I'm really bored somewhere, I could um I could read a book. I can just if I'm stuck at the doctor's office in this sweater, I'll just read, you know, 15 pages of tags, which is weird. Um, I would like to cut those off before I wear it, but I'm not sure that that's allowed. So who knows? Um, and then it does, of course, have the hanger um, strips, which will have to be, I don't know, tucked under a bra. Is that how most people do that? You tuck it under your bra so that your shirt doesn't move too? I'm not sure. So I've done it multiple, like so many different ways. I'm not really sure which is the best. I just kind of make, make it work for when I'm doing it. So this is the red, the red sweater. Very big, I will say, probably. A little a little big maybe it would have been great on Thanksgiving so I could have eaten and eaten and eaten and no one would have noticed let's see if the leather jacket fits on top so real quick about the leather jacket I was putting the hood on and see this part it looks like it's supposed to go into a button and see this part clearly missing a button and I will tell you that is on both sides so I love your Rent the Runway, I love your service, but um, if the clothes get damaged, just freaking put a new button on. Like what about the rest of us that want to wear it and pay for the service? Like, you know, I know we have insurance on these things so that if we ruin them or we damage them a little bit, like we aren't charged, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't fix them. That's what I have to say about that. So, okay, this jacket seems Honestly, it seems a little bit big, which I'm surprised. I don't remember what size I got, but I guess I probably got a medium thinking I would wear long sleeves under it um, because it's in Colorado and we're quite cold here usually. So, but I like it. I do. Um, let's see. It's got a pocket kind of over here. I went down here. And then I suppose if I get, how does this work? What does it fold in? And then it zips, don't zip my hair, all the way up. I'm not even sure if it's possible to zip my hair, but I wouldn't want to do it if it is. Um, so if I'm real cold, I should keep tucking those in. They don't look like a fool. So that's it. That's all the things. And I, I quite like the pieces that I got. I think they have great um, style and taste on that website. If you could just send stuff next time, Rent the Runway, if you're listening to this. Uh, put the buttons back on. That was my problem with that dress, too, that I couldn't wear. Someone had popped the freaking button and the string off, and all you had to do was get a seamstress to freaking sew a string back on. Didn't have to match the dress. Could have just been white or cream, because the dress was mostly cream. And then put a button on the other side to attach it. <sighs> so... Anyways, those are my items. I'm still going to wear them. I'm going to make it work and then I'm going to send them right back and give them a review and get new stuff. And then I'll come back and let you know what else I got and what the process was like returning and getting them back. So if you have questions, leave them below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I will be doing these videos all month long and hopefully longer if the service doesn't suck. So, um... Like I said, I'll try to find those pictures of the dresses if they're not already up. I'll pop them right now. And I will see you guys in the next video.